Hey everyone. I hope you're having the best day of your life. Today in this very exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create neon light animation effect in After Effects. Let's take a look at what we are going to create. That looks super awesome right? Before we begin make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new composition. I will name it as Neon Effect. Width is 1920 and the height is 1080. 25 frames per second. 10 second duration. Click OK. Take the text tool here, and type the first letter of the name you want. I will type in the first letter of our channel name Gentle PSD. Take the move tool and place it at the left side like this. Increase its size. Make sure the anchor point is in the center. And select the layer, and go to the effects and preset panel. Type and glow. Drag the glow effect to RG text layer like this. Increase the glow radius threshold and glow intensity as you desire. That looks good. Now press Ctrl D to duplicate the layer and drag it to the right side like this. Press Ctrl T, and change the letter to E. We will keep repeating this technique, until we have each letter per layer. Now type in letter N. Duplicate it then drag it. And change it to T. Now select all the layer by holding shift, and place it in the center. Again select all the layer and right click on it then select pre-compose. I will name it as letters, click OK. Double click on the letters layer and place the time indicator at the 15th frame. Now trim the letter G layer to the 15th frame like this. And trim the letter E also. Now trim both the layers to one second like this. Select the letter layer of LTM and trim it to one second frame. Then trim the back to one second twentieth frame. This time select the top two layer which is D and S. Trim it to two second ten frame and Trim the back to 3 second like this. Select the remaining layer P and E and trim it to 3 second 5 frame and 3 second 20 frame. Now let's play it, and see the magic. That looks good, but it's not giving the impact that we want.
drag the G and D layer to the right side like this. Then drag the D and S layer to the very beginning. This will give more dynamic animation to it. That looks good, but I want our LT and M layer to animate first. To do that drag these three layers, and bring it to the front. Drag the D and S to the left like this. Now let's play it. Drag the P and D layer a little closer. Select all the layers and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Drag the duplicated layer to 4 second like this. And then trim it. Now go to the main comp and play it. That looks super good. Now we animated our letters. It's time to add some color to it. In the effects panel type in tint, and drag the tint effect to our main layer. Press the top color palette and select red color. And click on the second palette and select little dark red like this. Now we have that red glowy effect. Let's play it. That looks perfect. Now it's time to create that reflection effect. Enable 3D on this layer, by clicking on this box. Drag the text little to top like this. Press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Take the rotation tool, and rotate it upside down by holding shift. Place it at the bottom using the down arrow key on your keyboard. Select the duplicate top layer and place it below. I will name it as reflection. Now we will import our stock photo, by dragging it to the timeline like this. You can download this stock photo, link is in the description. Press S on your keyboard to bring the size, and change it to 50%. Enable 3D on our stock layer. Rotate the layer like this using the rotating tool. Place it like this. Now pre-compose the stock layer and select the move all attributes option. I will name it as texture. Double click on the texture layer and increase its size back to 100. Make sure it's in the center. Enable 3D option on this pre-composed layer too. Now hide the texture layer by pressing this eye icon. Now create a new adjustment layer. In the effects panel type in compound blur, drag it onto our adjustment layer. Place the adjustment layer above the reflection layer like this. In the compound blur, change the blur layer to our stock layer which is texture. Now as you see, that we created this reflecting on a tile effect which is looking quite good. Enable 3D option. Create new 20mm camera. Now we can able to animate a different orientation.
Select the reflection layer. In the effect panel type in fast blur and drag it onto our reflection like this. Change the blur dimension to vertical. And increase the blurriness. It will give more depth to our animation. Now let's play it. That looks absolutely stunning. Now we can start animating the final part of this effect. Go to camera and camera options. You can increase and decrease the zoom like this. That looks good. Place the time indicator at the beginning and keyframe the zoom. Take the indicator to 7 second. And increase the zoom like this. It will create the keyframe automatically. To give it more depth. Place the indicator at the beginning and keyframe the point of interest and position like this. Place it at 7 second, and use the rotate tool, and rotate it slightly like this. It will create keyframe. Now highlight all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease it, so that we can have a really smooth animation. Let's play it, and see the animation. That looks super awesome. You can add some more reflection to the tile, by adding curves to it. Double click on the texture layer, in the effects panel type in curves. Drag the curves to our stock layer like this. Increase the highlight like this to give it more reflection to the tile. If I play. As you see our tile reflection is more waxier now. We will add some shake effect, to give more dynamic looks to it, in the camera, by holding alt and press the keyframe icon of point of interest like this, it will give us the expression sheet, in the expression, type in wiggle, open bracket 3 comma 5 close bracket, now let's play it, and see the final animation. That looks good. We finally finished creating our neon animation effect. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any doubts feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Please hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this tutorial. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.